Hi guys, welcome to Decorative Homestead. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a burglar trip alarm for your house. So like if you want to have an alarm go off when somebody walks through your door or if you just have an area that you don't, you want an alarm to go off if someone walks through this general area. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's get started. It's also important to note that we're using a really big bell in this example, big bell that makes a whole lot of noise, but you can use just a simple buzzer, something that'll make enough noise that if it goes off, it will wake you up. It needs to run on power, obviously. And then you'll need a clip, a plastic clip, that is big enough for a screw to fit in between the metal spring. So you need a rather small screw as well, and you'll see in, the, in a minute how that works. And you also need some wire, and then um, a power source, and you're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here we are guys. We've got the entire setup as you can see. So let me go walk through on how this works. Okay, so first thing here is we have the power come in and here's the switch right here. I'm gonna go in and try it so it's gonna turn on. So that works, okay, and it comes out over here over here and comes to the switch. Now, let me show you another thing as I just showed you before. If I turn this on, it stops because there's lost, it, connect, it disconnects it, okay? But if I let it go back, okay. 
So then it comes to here, right there, goes in, comes out, and goes all the way back to your power source. Okay, so now, as I was showing you, we can use a clip for a burglar thing. So let's put this right here. Now, you're gonna want, if you want someone to trip it and hit it and trip it, you're gonna want a smaller string, preferably. So let me go ahead and try this. It's important to make sure this does not touch, okay? So that when you pull it, just like this, it goes off, okay? Now, again, you can put this on your door, and I'm going to show you an example in a minute of how you can put this on your door. Or you can get a smaller string and just have it so that if someone just walks it like this, example, here, let me show you. If someone walks it like this, they pull it and it goes off. That's what we've done before. Of course, you're going to want a smaller string so they can't see it. And secondly, so that it kind of pulls easier, okay? So you may kind of like sometimes when at the, try to just make it so it's barely about to trip, just not going to trip, like right there. There we go. Just a simple wedge on that will send it going. Of course, it's off, so it doesn't matter. But that's the basic setup, okay? Now here's another example here. Now, we in general use plastic clips, so I think that's the best right there that you can use to get a plastic clip. Obviously, you have a screw in the middle, and so you need a screw that's big enough to fit there and a, and a clip that's big enough to fit through and make it so they can fit through. Another big thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that when this is closed, it's closed right now, we don't have it on, um, when it's closed, that it touches, and when it's open and the clip's on it, it doesn't touch. That's important, because if it doesn't touch while it's closed, that means when someone pulls off the clip, it's not going to ring. And if it touches while it's open, it's going to ring all the time, which isn't going to help you out too much. And obviously, here's the clip right here. So we just take this right here, and stick it up on there, okay? That's what we do. So when someone opens up the door, it comes off. Here's the light. Here's the switch right here to turn it on. So if I turn it on, I, have, I don't have the clip on right now at this moment. It goes off. Another thing I would like to mention real quick is that obviously this area right here when this is on is very hot. So make sure that you keep this out of the way of children. You don't want any child coming around and touching that and having the worst day of their life okay so i sure hope you found this video helpful for you for anybody who is trying to make a burglar alarm or burglar trip system that right there is a pretty simple and easy way to make it very simple it saved us from probably one robbery we had two robberies and then we set up this system and we never had a robbery again so this has really helped it's probably set um stopped multiple but we know for a fact it at least stopped one so that's great, and we're happy with it, and I hope you find it useful as well. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you don't like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Just make sure to hit it twice. Just make sure, because you want to make sure that you, you know, leave a dislike on the video. Just hit it twice, and I'll see you next time in Ecuador Homestead. Bye.